Thanks, I'm uh, Pandon with the CGTN. Uh, Ms. Anderson, you just published an, an opinion piece on CGTN's official website. You started that article by saying the world has an environmental must-do list. And in your report to uh, UNEA 6, I noticed that you used the term highly fragmented to describe the current multilateral effort in dealing with environmental challenges. So how will UNEA 6 make true multilateralism work again, especially in addressing concerns from the global south. Is there a must-do list? Thank you. On the CGTN, yes, I have said that the world has a must, environmental must-do list. We always speak about to-do list, but this is actually a must-do list. We have to come to terms with the reality that we are not living in a sustainable manner, but we need to be careful that we don't fragment uh, too much into two many slices. So for this UNEA, under the wisdom of Madam Minister, we're bringing in all the MEAs, all the multilateral environmental agreements. They obviously have their own COPs where they will decide their own policies. No one would dispute that. But it is important that the presidents of these MEA, including uh, Minister Huang uh, from uh, China, who is president of the Biodiversity Convention, that he can engage with and that the political leadership of these conventions can engage with other conventions under the big UNEP umbrella. And this is really the only place where everyone can come, because when you're in a COP, then you're focusing on that COP theme. Uh, because as environment and energy ministers, we usually find ourselves uh, talking about climate, biodiversity loss, pollution, uh, and other environmental issues in different rooms. So we have, I mean, first time we discussed this with, uh, with UNEP, we said right away, we are, the f we are very much concerned about the fragmentation and this, the piecemealing of, uh, of the environmental issues in different houses where there is, we are not building on the synergies between those different uh, conventions and assemblies. We are actually building on what separates countries. So it's, it's very important for UNEA to keep that spirit of restoring trust and credibility in the multilateral process by ensuring that uh, the 7,000 7, plus delegates plus the 150 plus ministers and vice ministers that are here are focused on what we want to do, which is to have a strong and ambitious and impactful ministerial declaration with a number of resolutions, and uh, I'm hoping that we will have...